Hello viewers, this is Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel where you, uh, where you always get to watch and learn. Now welcome to our history class today and the topic of discussion is lives and contributions of Kenyan leaders and your teacher is Rajab Michira who will be taking you through the whole session today. Now this is a topic you're going to look at what are some of the contributions of the Kenyan leaders right and in this case here we talk of those Kenya leaders uh, from 1920s to 19 to 1982 from 1920s to 1982 now the contribution of some of those leaders and just to give to give a few of those leaders one is Jomo Kenyatta we go to Jaramogi Oginga Udinga we go to Daniel Moy we go to Tom Boya we go to Ronald Ingala then we get to look at Wangari Madai. Now, those are some of the leaders we're going to look at. What contribution do they make to our country? Now, welcome class and let us learn. Now, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We need to have known the early life of Jomo Kenyatta, right? Where did he grow, right? When was he born? Who were his parents? What of his educational uh, background? What of um, his, his, his work, work background, right? What did he do for a, for a living? Right now, that is how we, we, we get to look at the early life of Jomo Kenyatta. Now, the first imp the, the, the first image you get to see there, right? Whenever you see that image, always know that he is the founding father, right? That is the founding father of Kenya, meaning he was our first president, right? That is Jomo Kenyatta, and is well known for in, in in the Kenyan in the Kenyan history. Now, can we get to look at the life the, the, the early life of Jomo Kenyatta, right? Then again, we get to realize that Jomo Kenyatta was born uh, was born in a Gikuyu, uh, born of a Gikuyu parent, so meaning his parents were from of a Gikuyu origin, and um, he was he was he was born in a, a place we, we known as uh, known as Ngenda, right? Ngenda, rich in Gatundu division of Thika County. So Gatundu South is in Gatundu South, eh? in Thika County. Then again, when was he born? So it is it is known as that he was born around 18 the year 1892 and belonged to the Ma Magana clan. Remember, the Akikuyu was divided into clans, right? They had that clan system. So Jomo Kenyatta belonged to the Magana clan of, uh, in, in Gatundu division of Thika County. Now, we get to know that his father was called Mwigai, right? And his mother was Wambui. That is why his son, uh, Jomo Kenyatta, he has gotten that name of Mwigai, right? So the father of uh, Jomo Kenyatta was Mugai, and his mother was Wambui. Now, getting to look at that also, his father died when he was uh, at, at his tender age, right? And he, he grew up uh, with his uncle in Ngendi, and then took care of him and his mother. So meaning, we, one thing we can get to see there that his father died when Jomo Kenyatta was uh, during his early ages. Now he had to be brought up by, by the uncle as it was the tradition in the, in, in the past. Now and again, we, we get to realize that as a young boy, Kenyatta left uh, Ngenda and went to live with his grandfather, Gungu of Magana at Mudiga near Kikuyu, right? That is when now he moved from, 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 from Kiambu, he moved to Dugikuyu, and Gikuyu borders, borders, borders Nairobi. That is where Jomo Kenyatta um, spent much of his time with, uh, with, um, with his grandfather. Now and again, now that he lived with the grandfather, while at Mudiga with his grandfather, there is where he's strongly influenced by the Agikuyu culture. And remember, uh, during the, 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 early, the, the, the early years, or in the traditional society, boys were taught the traditions of the society by the grandfathers. They were taught the ways of the community by the grandfathers, right? Now, at Mudiga with his grandfather, there is when he was greatly influenced by the Agikuyu culture and customs, right? And, and, and on the other hand, Christianity and Western education on the other. So meaning he learned the traditional uh, uh, customs and also now that during the, that's the time during the missionaries who were, were into Kenya, he also learned the Western education and also Christianity. And again, another, another significant uh, thing we get to realize that uh, his father was, his grandfather was a medicine man, right? And Kenyatta learned uh, much about Agikuyu culture and traditions from him. Now, now that he was a medicine man, he, he, he learned most of, uh, of those traditions and customs from his grandfather. Now, as we progress also, we get, we get to say that in the year 19, 1912, Kenyatta com, uh, completed elementary schooling, right? So he went to school, 
and he completed the elementary schooling. Now, in the year 1913, he was circumcised in the Akikuyu as per the Akikuyu tradition, and a year later, he was baptized into Christianity, and that's when he was given the name John Stone, John Stone Kenyatta, right? Now, he was baptized, and remember, the, 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 the missionaries always recommended that when you have changed your ways from uh, being a traditionist, right? When you have ac accepted Christ, you are given a new name, right? That is, that, 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 that is when um, Jomo Kenyatta was given a new name of John Stone. Now, in the year 1916, he worked at a size of farm in Thick. I remember during that time, those were plantations, right? Or oh, in, 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 in Thika, it was Saiso and tea. Now, but again now, uh, Jomo Kenyatta was lucky to work in a Saiso, in a Saiso farm in Fika. And also, from the Saiso farm in Fika, he moved, now that he was, he, he was, he was educated, he was now an elite in the society. He worked in the, in the Nairobi Municipal Water, uh, Water Council. In, in that case, he worked in the Nairobi Municipality, whereby he, wa he served in the water, water department. And, uh, and he earned a, a salary of 250 shillings per month. That, during that time, that was uh, um, good money, working in the county council, right? So he worked in the water department. So we have briefly looked at the early life of Jomo Kenyatta from when he was born, how he lived, right? or moving along, go, or going to school in the, in the elementary school, which completed in the, in the year 1912. We have also looked at him being converted uh, into Christianity, him being given a new name of John Stone, right? We have now see, see, seen, seen him working in the size of plantations. He, he, has, he has already gone to work in the Nairobi uh, municipality, where he worked in the, in, the water, um, in the water department, right? So that is, uh, that is a, brief, a brief outline of... Um, of the early life of Jomo Kenyatta. Now, for our reference class, can we get to briefly give an account of the early life of Jomo Kenyatta? And for our reference, get to refer to Evolve World History and Government Book Free, the Oxford University Press seventh edition. And as always, this is a Limit TV, your favorite learning channel, where you get to watch and learn. We have got our contact address. For example, we have got our SMS, our our, our YouTube channel, our Facebook account, our our Twitter account. Get in touch with us via all those contact address. Thank you so much, and let us meet in the next class.